Dandy Walker syndrome is a neurological disorder with abnormalities in the cerebellum. Cerebellum is located at the back portion of the brain and is extremely important for being able to perform everyday tasks such as walking and writing. It is also essential to maintain proper posture, balance, coordination, and speech. Cerebellum accounts for approximately 10% of the brain's volume and contains over 50% of the total number of neurons in the brain. In 90% of the cases, this syndrome leads to buildup of excessive amount of fluid in the brain. This condition, also known as hydrocephalus, is characterized by head enlargement in infants. Adults and older children experience headache, impaired vision, cognitive difficulties, loss of coordination, and incontinence. Hydrocephalus affects hundreds of thousands of Americans, and Dandy Walker syndrome is one of its important causes. Dandy Walker syndrome affects approximately 1 in 20,000 newborns and is generally diagnosed between 3 to 4 years of age. About 70% live-born babies are not able to survive. Life expectancy of affected patients depends on the severity of the condition. Dandy Walker syndrome is caused by many types of genetic defects and environmental factors. Fetal exposure to harmful substances may be responsible for this condition and most of the cases occur in people with no family history of the disorder. Children often suffer with delay in crawling, walking, climbing, and coordinating movements of the arms and legs. It is common to find issues of muscle stiffness, problems of vision and hearing, paralysis of the lower limbs, and seizures. Other abnormalities include heart defects, urogenital abnormalities, and malformations of the face, limbs, fingers, and toe. About 50% of the patients have mild to severe intellectual disability. It is rare, but some people may be able to live their entire lives without any symptoms. Dandy Walker syndrome is diagnosed by CT scan and MRI scan of the brain. Pregnancy ultrasound can detect the syndrome with fair accuracy. Hydrocephalus is treated by ventriculoperitoneal shunting in which a tube is inserted in the head so that the extra fluid in the brain is drained into the abdominal cavity. Physical and vocational therapies are needed to manage issues of stiffness, gait disorders, and coordination problems. Children must be provided behavioral, educational, and psychological therapies to provide best clinical outcomes. For more information about list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.